my lovelies. So I have bought a few more things from Zara. I will show it to you in a minute. I've tried it on as well. But first of all, I wanted to show you this gorgeous scarf that has been sent to me from this company called Ovicio. Sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce it. They are cashmere scarf company. It came in this gorgeous organza bag in this beautiful box that says spoil your neck. It also inside here comes with the little sample of span cashmere. They do the most gorgeous cashmere scarf, scarves and not only the thick winter ones but lightweight summer ones and that's what i got they come in so many gorgeous colors i chose the fuchsia pink it's absolutely enormous you could probably wear it as a top there there are some videos on the website of people showing different ways to wear it but it's so, so beautiful, so soft. You can wear it so many ways. Even for this time of year, you know, when the weather is getting a bit warmer with your trench coat or light jacket, um, you could also wear it obviously as a pashmina over, hang on, let me get up over a dress you know you could do it up like this you could fold it in half so it's not as see-through you could probably wear it actually as a sarong over your swimwear and you probably could make a nice top out of it. I think I saw on a website someone making like a bandeau top out of it, like wrapped around here and then making a big bow at the front. Obviously I can't do it right now but yeah and honestly the colors, there is every color you can imagine. And I had such a hard time because they let me choose the color. I had such a hard time choosing because there was gorgeous orange and beautiful apple green, so many colors. But I thought I go for fuchsia, you know, I love, and this is like the cooler pink, which I love in the summer and I thought this would look so nice with like a white linen outfit this scarf just casually thrown over and my fuchsia teddy blake bag so I will leave you the link in the description box I am not sure if they've given me a discount code I will check but I will leave you the link to the website so you can have a look because also it's so beautifully presented that it could be a nice present. And like I said, they also do the traditional thicker cashmere scarves, but these are just so gorgeous. You know, I didn't even know that they make cashmere that thin. So this is made out of Mongolian cashmere. So yeah, it is incredibly warm but incredibly light so have a look at their website now i have bought a couple more things from zara so you know in last monday vlog i've shown you the bodysuit from zara with long sleeves and i said i'll probably order some more so i got this one i got another one just be very careful with the sizing. So, you know, when you look on the website, on the site where you've got the price and underneath it says sometimes this item runs small or large. So adjust the size accordingly when you're ordering because the long sleeve one um, was size medium and was perfect. 
this one which is exactly the same fabric but it did say that this one runs small i got large and just as well so this is just a sort of cup cup sleeve one um very very lovely and comfortable the only thing is because this is such a slinky thin fabric you know you have to be careful like with the lamps and bumps you know what you've got your bra lamps and stuff like that uh, but i suppose you can then order maybe even larger size so it's not so fitted so i love this one i'm gonna keep this one but then i ordered this one really like it this one is can you see like slightly off shoulder it's got like gathered bits here and the fabric is different it's more like a stretchy cotton and it's very finely ribbed i don't know if you can see the ribbing and i ordered this one in medium i don't think this one said that it runs large or small i can't remember i ordered this one in medium and this one is far too big it's sort of fine here but from the waist down you know it's it's too long uh, so it doesn't it, it stops fitting then like a bodysuit it just looks like a top you know that you can gather so i think i'm going to send this one back because it is too big it's still very comfortable it's not too bulky even though it's not the same slinky material now you know i've been on a bit of a red kick so i've ordered these red trousers these are the cropped mini flares i think they do them every year slightly different and in different colors it's a really nice red and I got this in size medium as well. They are very stretchy, very comfortable. And then I got these red shoes. Really like them, comfy, but I don't know if I'm a bit over these really pointy shoes. I still prefer pointy shoes to round toe. But you know, these ones are, these ones actually not too bad. The silver ones that I have from Zara are, I think, even more pointy. Very, very comfy. Have a look. I just um, wore this with my sweater from uh, Massimo Dutti that I bought last year in Spain. Uh, so I don't think that sweater is available anymore. I just throw something on but I quite like these trousers they are very comfy I think you can wear them in so many ways like you can wear them with a t-shirt um, and flip-flops you can wear them like I did with these heels and some nice top I think they would look quite cool with just tennis shoes and maybe a linen shirt so I don't know till I've watched this back and have a look what I looked like in them if I'm going to keep them because you know sometimes I put something on and I really like it in the mirror but when I film myself and I watch it back I think no that's not no good so I don't know yet but let me know what you think and then I got this pair of trousers these are like Capri trousers Capri pedal pushers, they are going to be huge this summer. Um, again, really nice, stretchy, very comfortable. They are not very high-waisted. I would say they sit on my belly button, so I'll take that into consideration. Again, this is size medium. And again, I think these ones are quite versatile because you could wear them with heels and some nice top, but you could wear them with T-shirt and flip-flops or tennis shoes anything like that but I don't know I don't know how I feel about them they are very comfy for like running around I suppose but I'm not sure so I wouldn't so that's all I've bought um I wouldn't say that I'm that 
into this stuff like I said I'm gonna watch myself back and see if I like them but if you after something like that they are really you know comfortable stretchy nicely made I would say they are true to size the red and the black ones I don't know Zara for me in a winter remember I did a haul from Zara and I only got two pairs of trousers and I think two jackets to me, Zara, in the winter, I very rarely find something that I really like. And now, this time of the year, it's a bit funny because it's like that transition from winter to spring. I think I love Zara the most towards the end of spring, beginning of summer. The summer stuff is always fantastic. So, I don't know, I probably will send most of that stuff back. I do like these shoes, but then I'm thinking, well, how often will I wear them? And I, I think the problem with me is, you know, I put my summer stuff always in a loft when the seasons change, and I can't remember what I've got there, but I'm pretty sure I have red pair of shoes, sling bags as well, on slightly higher heel. I prefer the lower heels now because I don't want to wear high heels but I think I don't know they would look nice with jeans as well or even my navy trousers I don't know I have to think about it they are so nice but how much wear out where will I get out of them I don't know so yes, I like these things, but I'm trying to, you know, practice what I preach. I always say, if you don't absolutely love it, don't keep it. And I don't absolutely love it. So, so I don't know. Let me know what you think of, um, of these things. I think I just feel like I haven't bought any clothes for, for a long time. So I've been looking around, but I, honestly, I've looked at all my favorite online shops and I don't see anything that I think, wow, I have to have it. The last thing I bought was that gorgeous red dress from, oh, these shoes would go with that dress. Didn't think that from me, me and M. Um, oh, maybe I have to try them with that dress. Anyway. Oh my goodness. I just had to run out into the garden. So it's been quite lovely sunny morning and I've washed our bedding and I thought wow it's not too cold today the sun is shining I can hang it outside instead of putting it in a dryer and it's just started to rain not terribly like this really fine rain so I had to quickly whip it off the washing line and put it in a dryer so annoying honestly even though when I I look at the weather for forecast every day and it shows no rain today. You can't even trust the forecast. So, yeah. Okay, my lovely. So that's all I wanted to show you today. And I will speak to you later. Have you got your octopus? Shake him. Shake him. Shake your octopus. Hello, my lovelies. So, guess where I am? I'm just waiting to go in to see a plastic surgeon. 
So I had this booked in ages ago before everything happened with Louis and to be honest when I found out about Louis I was going to cancel this appointment but Paul said don't do it yet you know just wait and see and as we are good now with Louis everything it's fine and the life will just go on as normal so yes I've booked this appointment a while ago just to go for consultation regarding my eyes. I want to see what his opinion is on, on these bags, if this is, you know, this leftover filler that is playing up, maybe he can dissolve it for me, I don't know. And, um, and I will have a chat with him about having my hooded eyes done. I'm, I'm not making any decisions um, today or anything. It's basically just a consultation. And who knows, you know, I've been talking about my eyes for six years. You're probably all sick of it. Uh, but yeah, we will see. So I'm not wearing any um, eye makeup so you can see my eyes properly. My nice hooded eyes. Yeah, they are just drooping so much now. I have like this fold coming down here. But I'm mostly, when doing this slide, my bags are not looking that bad but if I'm in artificial light it just looks awful so so anyway that's what I'm doing um, we will see I will let you know what he said and obviously I'm not making any decisions today or it take me ages to make a decisions like it always does with anything that I do Okay, I'm back. Uh, he's taking all my makeup off from under my eyes. Uh, he told me that I definitely don't want brow lift. He said I look surprised. But I thought, well, I talk like this all the time anyway. But he said, yeah, but do you want to look like this all the time? <laughs> um, so it would be just taking the skin away from my upper eyelid and tightening the skin here he said i've got a fat pad here and he said with these things it's water retention uh, and i i used to think it was dehydration <laughs> so i would drink lots of water when i felt like this oh yeah and what else did he say that's it he said that um the lift here you can just treat with botox you know when you what i used to have done Botox here and a bit here after you've had it all done. He said, just to lift your eyebrows slightly here. He said, you don't want eyebrow lift. So, because I was convinced that that's what, what I needed. But I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'm not sure because I had it in my head that you know me I think that I know better than doctors because that's all I do all my life is research things I think I think I could perform my own operation basically <laughs> so um I was convinced that he would tell me yeah we do your bags and then we just lift your eyebrows but that wasn't it so so yes I have to think about it he said if I want to speak to him again I can have another consultation which is free the second one so yeah so now i go home and think about it for another six years and we will see good morning my lovelies have something to show you so the alter ego have sent me another of the palettes remember this is this inexpensive company that does amazing jobs for Natasha Denona palettes. <clears throat> I think I have one. There is a dupe for Huda palette. This one is called Dream Gaze. The packaging is always so lovely. It's only um, cardboard, but it has a mirror. This one is a dupe for Natasha Denona pastel palette, I think. It has a mirror as well look at this 
gorgeous colors but i don't know i wouldn't buy it i wouldn't buy the natasha denona pastel palette because it's not something that not colors that i wear but to be honest i probably could wear these ones and also the greens you know i like now and again green green look so saying that I probably would have fun playing with it but that's just for fun it's not like I would do this bright green look and go out like that maybe to a party or something which I don't often go to um, but yeah I will play with it I will do a video um, because maybe some of you like using that that sort of colors so they send me that and they eyeshadow primer i must remember to use it i never use eyeshadow primers you know that i use normally um just a concealer and powder my my what my lid but with these pastel colors maybe maybe the primer will do a good job so yes i will do that at some point I am doing the horrible job today of cleaning my bathrooms. I absolutely hate it, but I will soldier on. <laughs> I'll probably listen to podcasts or music or something and get it over done with. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm taking Louis to the vet as well, uh, just to try to make a decision if we're going to do any more surgeries uh we're leaning towards not doing anything in fact louis is doing so well since i've been giving him those apple caps that i've mentioned to you from dr dressler he actually is has much more energy he's just um better than he was before so um I'm leaning towards not doing anything, hoping that these tablets will keep the few cancer cells that are left at bay because I really, really don't want to put him through any more of anesthetics and pain when he is feeling so good, you know? So yeah, okay, my lovelies. <laughs> I'm trying to put it off, but I really need to go and clean my bathrooms. Hello, my lovelies. I am not well. So, last night I started feeling all achy and um, got fever. So I took some ibuprofen. That helped a bit. Then I went to bed... And I woke up five o'clock this morning, completely, you know, I couldn't keep still. I was shivering so much. So I took another ibuprofen and fell asleep again. I sweated so much. So something is trying to get me. I've got some sort of virus. This time of year is quite normal, but I haven't been ill for four years i mean the last time i was ill was when i got covid in 2020 um and you know i do take all the supplements that help you with immune system i think it's probably the stress stress is so bad for your body it just lowers all your body defenses and your immune system I think that's why it's so important to to manage stress. And of course, you know, I've had quite horrible three weeks. Well, more than that, because, you know, before that we had the stress with Sofagate. My car went wrong, post car went wrong, everything went wrong. So I feel like I've been quite stressed for since the beginning of the year. So, yeah, I got up this morning and I had a shower because I sweated so much in the night. Um, and, yeah, just put a bit of makeup on. Not much because who cares? And I'm just sitting wrapped up 
in a blanket on the sofa and feeling all achy. I hope it'll be like a three day thing, it usually is, and uh, I will feel better next week. And the thing was, I was um, going to film a makeup video today, and because I've taken Neurofen at five in the morning, when I woke up, I felt okay. And I thought, oh good, I can do the video. But then by the time I had a shower, I did my hair and I started aching again and feeling really horrible. And I thought, I can't do it. I just can't do it. But, um, and hopefully I will see you next week and I will be fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful week and stay fabulous. Bye.